All right, everybody. Um, this is a video specifically for matrices, determinants of a matrix. Um, we're going to start with two by two matrices because you need to know how to find the, the determinant of a two by two matrix to be able to do higher ones. And typically, I think you know you won't go higher than a three by three, but um, so that's where we'll stop. We'll do two by twos and three by threes. So, <clears throat> hopefully we all know what a matrix is, and a 2 by 2 matrix is a square matrix because it has the same number of rows as it does columns. So you're only going to deal with determinants for square matrices. So here is an example of a square matrix, some random example. Okay, so we'll say that this is matrix A. So typically matrices, we represent them by capital letters. Matrix A is defined to be this matrix with two rows, two columns, and these elements within. And I want the determinant of matrix A. Now, I could represent the determinant in a couple different ways. I can say determinant of A in this way. This represents basically the determinant of matrix A. Or, if you ever see a matrix with, it looks like an absolute value sign around it then that's saying the same thing as the determinant of matrix A. Or I can actually write the elements with those two vertical lines, and that also represents determinant. So each of these are representations of basically finding a determinant. So they're all finding the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, so the way that we find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is basically this guy and this guy. We go on diagonally. 2 times 5 minus, so this diagonal minus this diagonal. 2 times 5 minus 3 times negative 1. And I'm going to write it out for our first case. 2 times 5 minus 3 times negative 1. This diagonal minus this diagonal. So as you can see that the outcome of a determinant gives us a scalar, a basic number. Because when I simplify this, I get 10 plus 3, or 13. So the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix is equal to 13. Okay, here's another example. Matrix B is represented by negative 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, I want to find the determinant of matrix B. Again, can re be represented by all of these notations. DETB is determinant of matrix B. B with the absolute value signs around it, determinant of matrix B, or just the matrix with, with those vertical lines, determinant of the matrix. Start with this diagonal. The product of negative 4 times 7 minus this diagonal. The product of 5 and 6. Okay, again, negative 4 times 7 minus... 5 times 6, I get negative 28 minus 30, or negative 58. Again, I get a scalar, a simple number, as my determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix. So all determinants are giving us a scalar. One more example. Matrix C is, I don't know, let's pick 10 negative 5, let's do negative 4 and 8. Here's matrix C, and I want the determinant of C. Start with this diagonal, 10 times 8 minus this diagonal, negative 5 times negative 4. Don't forget that there's always a minus between the product of this diagonal and the product of this diagonal. Don't let this minus take the place of negatives. So again, 10 times 8 minus negative 5 times negative 4 is equal to 80 minus 20 or 60. Nice and easy. So I need to know again how to find the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, which will be in my next video. So again, if you guys have any questions, let me know, comment. Like my videos, check it, check out the rest of my videos, subscribe. Okay, 
um, so that I have some feedback and I know what you guys need. All right. Have a good one.